on this demonstration I'm going to demonstrate four edge distensile designs that I use for painting this helmet with the dragon, the demon on top, this sort of leopard or uh, tiger, I don't know what that is and um, we have our main hero here in the back, a, a warrior, you know, facing the physical challenges. This entire painting took me about 17 hours to do the painting. If you want to do something similar, probably what I've done here, you know, it's really hard to copy something exactly, but maybe you like one of those designs and you want to give it a try. Those stencils are available at edgedistensils.com. Okay, so that's what we got for for the stencil result. It's pretty tricky to to work with any kind of stencil on a round surface, uh, but the edge the stencil really bends really nice in the contours of this helmet. Uh, down here, I didn't get proper results. It's it's really it's a really tricky surface right there, as you can see. Uh, but for the most part, I got really good results. Anyways, uh, the most important thing I want is the mouth. I want to make sure it's nice and aggressive. Okay, so this one, it's a lot of softness here because the stencil needs to be flush there. But if I make it flush, then his back is gonna look like it's broken, so. Okay, so I think this is good for now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I think now it's time to start working on one of the main pieces. And I think I'm gonna begin with this devil up here. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a yellow color for all the highlights and I'm gonna try it out and see how that works. Okay, so so far I already done the the monster on the top and now I'm gonna continue by painting this 
tiger type of beast. Uh, the most important part I'm gonna focus is on the mouth and the and the fangs uh, because there is so much of sharp details and things I need to get in between. It's a lot easier for me to work with a with a regular bristle brush. So this dragon has a lot of nice textures and I can still see some of the, as you can see the HD stencil, it laid it out for me really nice. Texture sh sort of changes right here in the middle as well. If you notice this one, the texture changes from here to here. It goes from really thick fur to more like uh, uh, short fur over here. So this one, it's more like leather. Um, I gotta see how I'm gonna do that leather texture. I haven't figured that out yet. But usually I wait until I'm ready to start painting and that's when I start figuring out the steps that I'm going to take. In this part, in the middle of the painting, it's when uh, you could be getting really confused with all this texture. It looks overwhelming, but uh, just keep in mind, everything is shadows and highlights. So on top of all this texture right here, if you look at the reference image, you're gonna see that there's a lot of shadows here. So that's what I'm painting. Okay, so I'm finally about to begin the final painting on this. Something you gotta keep in mind as, as you do any painting, basically, either if it's full color or black and white or whatever, or, or analogous or monochromatic, 
the universal rule is you are looking for shadows and highlights. So right here, I have two options. I wanna, uh, I can do this paint, I, I can do this painting two ways. I can start airbrushing my shadows and then come back and do my, my highlights or my lighter areas. Or I can start doing my highlights and then come back with the airbrush. And most of the time there is no right or wrong. You can just either do your highlights and then your, your shadows or vice versa, whatever works for you. So I've decided that I also want to intensify the other color so I'm gonna be adding some transparent blue to this side and I'm also gonna add a little bit of uh, violet to the other side so uh, this is just transparent blue and I'm gonna apply a little bit just to intensify these colors before I forget I gotta tape that This entire painting took me about 17 hours to do the painting, but on this demonstration it's gonna be condensed or compressed down to about one hour and a half, and you can check that out at hdistensors.com.